Hi, Caroline Belinska here. I am the founder of Just Ask Parker. And in this video today, I wanted to take you through four ways to increase sales profit and your traffic. So this is a little bit of an overview of Just Ask Parker and the four first tasks that we recommend. Now, you can go away and do these yourself. So if you're not currently uh, one of our clients and that's fine, I'm going to take you through some uh, information so you do understand exactly what you need to do. If you are a client of ours, then this is going to help you immensely because I know that a lot of people get stuck, whether you're a client of ours or whether you're not. When you're starting out with marketing your Shopify store, you get a little bit stuck, not just you, everyone does, get stuck with understanding and knowing what to do first. We're all told how easy it is to set up a Shopify store, which it is, and that's probably the easiest pass part. But once we get into the marketing, it can become a little bit daunting and a little bit um, uh, hard to understand exactly what to do next. So there's a lot of stories out there on what's uh, what you should be doing first and what you should be doing um, most of all. And in this video, I want to take you through the first four steps that we always recommend to all of our clients. Whether you're a client of ours or not, we recommend that you take action in these areas first. So the first thing that we actually do is a website review. Then we go through and we recommend that we um, arrange the three month marketing plan for you. It's a really quick marketing plan. I'm going to show you the outline of it. It's a one page marketing plan. And the reason why I believe in this, I studied marketing 20 years ago and I have actually gone to banks to get loans for money for businesses. And I do know that they still expect this in the old fashioned world. But once you create a big marketing plan of 20 pages, you're never, ever going to look at it again. So I'm completely against them. It's the one thing that I really, really regret ever doing and wasting my time on is a big marketing plan. So I do recommend just doing quick one page marketing plans and that will take you forward for the next few months. And it's something that you can always look back on. The next thing that I highly recommend is the customer journey strategy. So understanding your customer journey, I'm going to take you through exactly what that means. And then what we love to do at Just Ask Parker, now you can go away and do this if you're not one of our clients, is come up with the next 15 marketing tasks that you need to do to get more sales. So at Just Ask Parker, this is one of the tasks that we offer. So Just Ask Parker is not actually a proper agency. It's not a full agency for marketing. We are a small task agency. So all of our tasks are broken down into small one, um, one hour tasks. We do have a couple like the ones I'm showing you here, which are classed as uh, two, three, four or five days, which they're the only ones that we do like this. So there's not many. Most of our tasks are just a one hour task, small task. However, what I did find was by offering these four tasks as bigger tasks, it helps people get started. So we actually offer them as the get started tasks, but you can do them at any time that you want. But we do recommend that you start with these. So let me just take you in the back end of Just Ask Parker to begin with to help you understand a little bit better what I mean. So if you're currently a client and um, you're not sure exactly how to um, maneuver through the back end, I'm going to show you. So you're going to log in here to the back end. I've got an example store just um, to show you what I mean. And when you first click, there'll be a box at the top that says your store name task management. You click on that and you'll end up here on the overview. And then you click here on task Kanban and you'll land on this page here. Now, we don't recommend looking at the task list. Um, not all stores do see this, but we don't recommend this because it, um, it, it can get a little bit confusing. So Kanban's easier because we've got here on the left tasks to choose from. Here's the list of tasks. We've got here tasks that you request. So you pop your tasks here. This is when our team is in progress doing it. We then hand it over here to um, you and then you're to confirm the task here and then you move it over to the done section. So it's super, super simple. It's very visual and these are, these are all the things that you need to know. So the first thing that we recommend when you start off with us is reading this. We also have a knowledge base, which there's an email that comes out with that information. And in that knowledge base, both if you're a client and not a client, I'll um, bring that up now, you can actually um, go and take a look at 
the knowledge base at any time. Sorry, I'm just trying to, um, yeah. Now it's not wanting to bring it up for me. So down the bottom of our website, right down the bottom for anyone. If you're in the back end, it's actually there, but here you go to help desk and here, if you're a current client, you go into whether you've booked the individual tasks or the pro plan, which is the monthly plan, or if you're just here for general questions and you're new, then you want to come here to general questions or click support to send us an email. So if you're actually a client and you're in the back end, you go here to knowledge base and that will actually take you through to this area so you don't have to go looking for it. Okay, so this is the read this now to understand more. Then here we go with the task. So if you want to get this one, which is the general website review, you just move it over into task requested. You click it open. You read through here. It says the description. It tells you exactly what you need to give us if you need to give us anything. If you need to provide store owner to provide anything, then you just write it here, click post and then close it. And the information will get processed to our team and then we'll take, take everything from there. And it's not until you get an email saying that it's over here in store owner to confirm. Do you have to come back in? Look here, there'll be another comment just here. So um, you'll see if I post that underneath here, that's my comment just now, but you'll see one of our team members have left a comment saying, go and check it. They might give you a link. They might give you everything there, or they might tell you to go and look at your Instagram, whatever the task might be. And then you take action on that. And then once you're happy, you can either click on edit task and click here to move it to done from there, or you can just pick it up and move it over to done. And then that's it. So this is the getting started, um, website review, which sits here. And then we've got the other ones here. So I've got the three month marketing plan. I've got the customer journey strategy and the, um, one, two, three, and then the 15 tasks is actually moved around somewhere. It's not right there at the top. And then the next one, the 15 tasks is usually sitting here at the top as well. Um, we will be adding new tasks along the way when people start asking for more. If your task that you want is not there, you click up here on add task, you give it a title. So you might say um, you want to know um, uh, customer um, background, background, for instance, and you can put a description here of what you want to know and the information that you want from us. Uh, we will take care of all of these. You just move it into task requested. And okay, there you've got to put something so you can just put a full stop if you don't need to provide anything, but if you need to provide us a link or something, you put it in there. And then we'll take care of it and we'll move it into the progress there. So a task can always be added. You'll see tasks, new tasks being added here. And you can see here, everything is in alphabetical order here. So um, apps are always first. Then we go into Facebook, we go into Instagram. I have somehow moved these around a little bit. Emails, so anything to do with emails, creating emails, templates, e-commerce emails, whatever it might be, organic Facebook, uh, Facebook ads, um, Instagram, Pinterest, sales funnels, video, SEO, Google AdWords, um, you name it, it is there, testimonial information. So anything that you think of, if you think, okay, I want to do a marketing task about testimonials or reviews, go down in the alphabetical order and look for it. If for some reason you cannot find what you're looking for, come up here and add a task. Now, when you add a task, it does take a little bit longer for us to organize it because we might have to go back and forth with you to get some information from you. So it's a slightly slower po process there. So this list means that you've actually got the step-by-step -step guide in each of these tasks to take action before um, we look at the task. So it is faster to choose from here, but of course, always add a task if you can't find what you're looking for. You can send us a, co a comment from here as well. Look at the people. These are the people that are in the team and you can choose any of these people. Myself, Caroline Blinska, and the project manager is Beverly and then there's Team Parker. So these are the three people that you're most likely to talk to. And then in here, you've got the other specialists that um, help along the way, but the three people is project manager, myself and Team Parker.
So we can help you along the way. That's pretty much how you use the back end. So website review, if you need to get this done um, and you haven't had it done, I can tell you right now, I've had a lot of people come to us and they go and get the marketing plan done or they go and start doing Facebook ads and then myself or my team member go and check out their website to get these other tasks done. And we realize that the website is not up to the right level. So I just highly recommend no matter what you think about your business and what you think about your website, get the website review done because it is definitely worth understanding more about your website. So what we actually do, the video, it's a website review video. I create, it's usually me that does it, I love doing them. Um, I create a video 10 to 15 minutes long and in that video I'll go through if this is your website and tell you all the things that are wrong. Oh, you know, you've got your share buttons here but they should be to the left or here's your chat thing or it should be a different color or whatever it might be. I will go through your website and give you all the feedback you need. You know, your foot is not correct or you could be using, you know, a better logo or your images aren't good enough. I can tell you right now that every single person who has had the website review done has been blown away with what they have learned about their website. If I can actually get someone to sign up for Just Ask Parker and not learn one thing from a website review, I will give you a month free because every single person walks away with learning at least one little thing and most people learn. Uh, I had one woman email me the other day. I got 21, and I don't write them down, but she said that she got 21 different things out of that video to help her understand what to do better. So you can go and run Facebook ads, but if you're making mistakes on your website, someone coming to your website is not going to have a good experience and they're not going to buy it anyway. So most people that come to me don't understand why their Facebook ads are not working. And it's not the Facebook ad that's not working. It's their website that's not working a lot of the time. So make sure you take action and get your website review, video review done first of all. Now, if you're not using the Just Ask Parker service, then you need someone to review your website. And the reason for that is, is that we all have um, blinkers on. We all want to see what we're doing as being perfect and great and not seeing any problems with it. But I can tell you right now, you need to get an honest, some honest feedback on your website. The second thing is the marketing plan. Now the marketing plan, as I said, you just book it here in the top section here, three month marketing plan. The three month marketing plan, you do need to give us quite a bit of information. So um, if I was sitting down with you as a client, we would actually spend a good three or four hours talking about your business before I create a marketing plan for you. And that's because I need to really understand what you're doing. And the whole idea of Just Ask Parker is to save you a lot of money on your marketing. So what we've done is we've broken it down into the seven questions we need from you. So we recommend that the better you answer these questions for us, the better your marketing plan is going to be. So if you decide to skip over any of these questions, you're not going to get the best results for your marketing plan. So I recommend that you don't skip these questions and don't just don't blow them off as if they're not important. The more information you give here, the better results you'll get on your marketing plan. So this is what you'll get as your marketing plan. It looks a little bit ugly from my standard because of the colors in it, but there's a reason for it. So we've got pink is business focused and green is customer focused. The reason why I do that is I really want you to start thinking about what you're doing in your business and how important the customer focus is and saying, okay, well, I'm going to do this because this is focusing on my customer. Without your customers, you don't have a business. So you really need to think about it. Now we fill this in. It's one page, it ends up being about one and a half pages when we're finished, but that's it. So you're gonna get this over two pages. And we've got a little overview at the end for you as well. And we fill in all of this. So we go through, we work out your objective. So your income, your lead generation, and another objective. Now your objective is actually setting a, a proper goal. So a goal might be, oh, I wanna become Twitter famous or Instagram famous, that's a goal. But your objective is, I want to get 10,000 people on my Instagram account um, or I want to get $10,000 in sales. Those are your objectives. So they're more defined than a goal. Then we go through your SWOT, your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Really, I take away what you have written in your SWOT analysis and we then can take that and rewrite it. And once we look over your website, we actually go through and change that. So you're going to answer that question for us in the um, task area, but we're going to go through and go, okay, well, you're saying your strength is this, but we actually know that that's not one of your strengths. That's actually a weakness. So it really helps us um, 
rewrite your SWOT analysis in more detail. So please don't skip, skip that, that step. Core brand value, give us information, competition, target audience and their needs, message to your audience, your marketing budget, you tell us how much money you've got and we break that down based on what we know about your business. We create a three month strategy for you and this, what we do is so simplified. So one month one, we probably give you three to five different things to take action on. And the whole idea of this is I could go and give you a 10 page document of what you should be doing in the first month, but you're not going to do all of them. I would rather you go through this uh, marketing plan and come back to me and say, Hey, Carolyn, I took action on every single thing that you told me over those three months and I didn't get it. I didn't have enough stuff to do. And I will happily give you more tasks to do. But I can tell you right now that by just breaking it down and saying, okay, I'm gonna give you three different things to do in month one. So it might be, I might tell you that your emails need to be taken care of, or I might tell you Instagram, or I might tell you Pinterest, or I might tell you, there's a, a million different things that I could tell you, but we just write you out a proper strategy that will help you. And of course, there's lots of tasks to do inside each of those strat like each of those um, areas but we just give you a really good, uh, uh, a very simple and very goal oriented task list to take care of. We talk about free marketing channels that you can take care of, paid marketing channels, and that all comes down to your marketing budget. So we work out exactly what we can give you. We work out if we can get you any publicity or media based on your business. We give you a list of keywords. We work out your lead capture system and your lead nurturing system and your follow-up strategy. So we give you all of that. This is so dumb, dumb proof that when you have this, this is your gold. With this plan, you can go forward for the next three months and really start to kick butt. This is where people start going, okay, great. Now I have some sort of structure. This, the value in this alone, it would cost you over $1,000 to have something like this done for your business. And we break it down into very, very simple steps because there's no point giving you, you know, it, it looks nice if I can give you a 20 page document because it looks like you've got a lot of information, but you're never going to take action on it. So it's really simple. It's really straight to the point and you're going to get a lot of uh, fantastic results from it. So if you're not working with Just Ask Parker, then you need to come up with your three month uh, marketing plan on your own. Um, I highly recommend that you pay someone to do this for you, someone with marketing experience to create this for you. The next thing is the customer journey strategy. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, where is my here? So I've got a blog post at the moment. If you go to justaskparker.com and go to the advice tab at the top of the page, you'll see that we've got um, blog posts, our blog post there. This is what most people, so I've worked with people over 10 years in marketing and most people come to me and they say, this is their customer journey strategy. They say, I just run an online ad, I get awareness. They look at my social media, they start considering to buy from me. I send them an email and then they go to my store and they purchase. This is what most people think is their customer journey for their customer journey experience. So I'm going to show you what it's really like. This is a real customer journey experience. Now, this is an example of one. So this is not, um, this is just very broad. And you can see here, you know, we talk about this PR, there's online ads, there's word of mouth, there's social media, there's pay-per-click competitions, influencers, um, they read reviews, they watch videos, they go to your website, they're considering email, social media, retargeting, chat, store, email, there's all sorts of things until they become a raving fan. So you can see there's a massive difference. Here there's a couple of points and here there is many, many more. So what we actually do with Just Ask Parker, we create a customer journey strategy for you. Now, this is sort of the base of it. And what we actually do is we go through and go, okay, for example, retargeting. And we tell you what you need to do for retargeting. We tell you what you need to do for social media. We tell you what you need to do for um, email. And, uh, you know, we might take out one of these here. We might say, you know, refer a friend. We take out, say, for instance, you're selling, I don't know, um, something that people don't want to tell their friends about, I don't know, some sort of 
vaginal swab cream, for instance, then I'm sure that refer a friend's going to come out and you're going to take out things like um, uh, social media and things like that because people probably don't want to be associated with that. But if you're selling baby clothes, then that's going to be a completely different thing. So this is an example of what we actually create and then we work from here. So this is a little bit uh, when we speak about here, we talk about um, your three month marketing plan. This is sort of overlapping from there, but it's a different sort of style. It's more visual. It's more like a mind map and it's, um, it's the journey. So it's a slightly different thing from your three month marketing plan. So getting the both of these done is really important. Then the next thing that we recommend of your four ways to increase your sales, traffic and profit is the 15 marketing tasks for your store to get more sales. So we actually, we've got a template that we use. This is how it looks. And in here, we actually go through your website and we work out the 15 tasks that you need. So if you have come to us and had your website review done, you've had your three month marketing plan and you've had your customer journey strategy done, then we're going to come and we're going to say, okay, the first 15 tasks that we recommend are these things. Because if you go and have a look now, this looks quite overwhelming the way it is. However, it's going to be even more in depth once you actually get your personalized customer journey strategy from us, which we base on your business. So if you're looking at this and you think, wow, there's a lot to do there. And you know, we've got in there to refer a friend, you've got to do this, to emails, you've got to do this, social media here, you've got to do this, that's a post-sale purchase, blah, blah, blah. And you start looking at all those things, you're going to get really overwhelmed. So that's why this 15 market and marketing tasks that we recommend is really, really helpful. So what we actually do is that we will put together all the different things that we see and we will work out your 15 marketing tasks for you. Once you've had these four tasks done, then you are on your way to starting to book in your tasks. So you've had all your getting starting tasks done. The first thing might be you need to get this privy app done, or we might say to you, you need to get the wish list plug in, or we might tell you you need to write an, e uh, an e-commerce email. You know, you go through your list of 15 tasks and you work it out and you just take one of these at a time. You go through and you get this one task done. We move it over here to progress. We then move it on to store owner to confirm. And then we'll, you move it over to the done column. And you can quickly, every single month, get your tasks done in a very, very simple way, very systemized, and you can actually be on your way to really building up your e-commerce store and getting more sales. So if you have any questions at all and you need any more help, just come down to the bottom of most of the pages on Just Ask Parker and click on the help desk. As I said before, you can come over and look at the questions here and or you can come over to support and actually send us an email through here and we're more than happy to answer any questions or if you're already a member and you're signed up for Just Ask Parker then just come over here to the chat and ask a question here. If you have a question about a particular task write it in the comments section here uh, that way we can keep all the information together. But if you've got a general question, just hit the little people thing here. Myself or Beverly. Beverly is usually the best. She works, um, she's online all the time. She can definitely help you write a question to Beverly and click on new conversation and ask her any question in there that you need to know. So that is it. We are so excited to be working with so many great uh, Shopify stores. We have just gone through the roof since you know we launched. We went through our beta testing and over the last three months, we've really gone hard on um, building up everything and it's just been amazing. And the feedback has been amazing. People have had so many fantastic results. The amount of people that are getting great results from videos that we're doing with them. So we're creating product videos and also working with influencers is a great one. And also just setting up emails because so many people are missing out on these. There are so many tasks that you are missing out on and that's stopping you from getting sales. So if you look at your at this customer journey strategy uh, uh, example, you can start to see that this is how people move through generally on an e-commerce store. 
go over to the blog and have a look at the um, blog grow sales by 53% with a customer journey strategy to understand exactly you can look at these uh, guidelines again but you can start to understand how important it is to have all of these set up properly on your website and your business and start getting you more sales so thanks so much for listening and for being here and I look forward to helping you succeed in your Shopify store have a wonderful day bye